Okay, hello and welcome. So this is a quick video to talk about the DHCP option 60, the vendor class information, and particularly how we use this on Windows. Um, the reason I'm making this video is because I've recently had to try and deploy some 1800 sensors, and they were using the same IP address pool as the access points. Um, and the access points need a different option 43 returned uh, compared to the 1800s. So how this looks in my lab, um, so there's a toolkit for this particular test. Uh, we've got the 1800 APs on this version of code, Windows 2012 DHCP server, and the wireless LAN controller, and the Cisco DNA Center, and of course, Sirius Sam, your host. So the, today's quick lesson is going to be on the DHCP server itself and how we configure this for the option 60 to return uh, different option 43s based on whether it's a 1800 sensor or whether it's a regular Cisco access point. Okay, into the lab. Okay, so I've already preset this up to keep the video short. Um, what I have over here is I've just got a packet capture for this particular server, so we can capture any DCP requests. If we're interested, we can have a look at those. And I've configured a option 60 scope over here in the 260 slash 16 range. Um, so how we've got this set up, as you can see, I've got three different option 43 um, code types already configured. Um, how we achieved this was if we go into our uh, scopes, we can go and define a vendor class. And in here, we create a new vendor class. So, for example, we're creating one called um, uh, Sam Bibby. That's me. Uh, give it a description. That's me. That's me. So then we can go in and we can um, put in the VCI string that is being presented by Sam Bibby. Uh, and in this case, it's going to be Sam Bibby. That is my, my VCI string. Um, as we can see in uh, Microsoft World, they return this MSFT 5.0. Uh, or for the Cisco 1800 sensors, they return the a different class code, which I will show you here. It's the Cisco APC 1800. And that's how we can identify what the device is. And once we've identified the device, uh, we can take action uh, and, and assign options. So we've got Sam Bibby one defined already, so we'll close that down. And then what we can do is we can set some predefined options for the Sam Bibby um, VCI. So we go to Sam Bibby and we can add, and we can say we're going to add um, option 43 uh, for me. And that's going to be uh, in, in binary. Um, is that, yep. Yeah. And that's going to be option. 43. Okay, that is all we need to do to define a option 60 VCI type and what returned values we're going to give to that device. So in our DHCP pool, we can right click and we can configure the options now and it's appeared down here for some reason. Um, we can go in and we go in the advanced tab and we can find the Sam Bibby and we've got the predefined options we set up. And the option 43 in this case is going to be returned is going to be, um, let's just say, um, I like uh, Cisco 1800s and apply that. It's a, it's a fictitious option 43. I already have some others predefined, so I've got the, the standard option 43, which is just um, in, the, in the general options, and then this is Sam Bibby, I've just put that in just to show you the, the difference. Um, I've got an option 43 here, which is for uh, the Microsoft Windows 2000 options, and that says if you are a VCI string of uh, the Windows server here, then your option 43 will be this, which is the uh, wireless LAN controller's IP address encoded. Or if you are an 1800 sensor um, with the VCI string, as we showed for the uh, 1800, uh, it returns the option 43 for the DNAC server, saying you need to go and talk to DNAC to do plug and play or, or any configuration. Okay, so we can test this. So how can we test this? So there's this awesome tool, this uh, DHCP tool, a DHCP test tool you can use. I'll put a link in the video. Um, but essentially, we can do a DHCP test, and I'll just do a standard DHCP test without any options. Um, and then that will send, if I send a discover packet out, and we can see here, 
Uh, if we go down, we'll also see the Discover Packet's gone out. Uh, it got an offer as well. And what's been returned is option 43 of Sam Bibby. Now, why has that option been returned from this pool, you ask me, which is this one uh, here, Sam Bibby. The reason that's been returned is because we, we, there is no option 60. So if we look in here, there is no option 60 in the Discover message. Um, so therefore, there's no option 60 match against the other three defined variables, which were one for the uh, Windows Server, uh, one for the um, the fictitious I like Cisco 1800s, and one for the 1800 uh, sensors. Um, okay, so how can we how can we test this? So what we can do if we quit out of there. We can run this test. So we now define the options for 60 MSFT 5.0 and run the discover on there. And we can see the discover's gone out. This time, this contains, um, was that the right discover? It's that one there, excuse me, the discover of MSFT 5.0. And we can see the option 43 returned here is different this time. This should map to this one here. Um, Ignore, it's F104, C080. So we can see there it's returned that option. And that's because um, we've presented this as our option 60. Now, what if I am a, uh, a uh, AP? So if I say I'm uh, an access point, we should expect it to return the type code to say onboard to DNAC. So this option 43 here. And if I run a discover, I can see that's exactly what had happened, it sent, for some reason it sent multiple packets then went, it's, uh, let's try that one again, send the discover cool, and now we can see that we've got this option 43 and if we look down in the discover message that was sent we can see the vendor class identifier is the Cisco AP1800 so hopefully this has been some use to you guys um, you can see how you can configure this option 60 to leverage the VCI and then offer back different option 43s or other values. Particularly useful for the 1800s when they're sharing the same DHCP scope as the rest of your access points in your network. Okay, thanks. Have a wonderful day.